The most significant uh, findings from this year's ASCO, uh, I think there's, there's several, but to me, the top one is the mRNA vaccines. And uh, it's, it's not totally uh, novel this year at ASCO. You know, it's been presented at other meetings at CITSI last year and uh, meetings in, the, in 2023 as well. But it's, it's the use of mRNA vaccines for melanoma. And, you know, if you go back uh, like to, to, to 20 years, vaccines have been tested in melanoma and have been tested in other cancers too, and, and it really have been disappointing. And uh, one school of thought is that, you know, we haven't, they're disappointing because uh, we haven't personalized them. So in other words, you're raising an immune response, but the cancer is just different than a vaccine. And uh, I, I think one approach to that has been to, to use neoantigens which are these, you know, slowly uh, accumulating passenger mutations that can occur in cancer, you know, by UV exposure or whatever, some 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 type of environmental or or or, or maybe DNA uh, replication errors, and and those can be uh, sequenced now with next generation sequencing, and then. Uh, packaged into a vaccine that's unique for a given patient and, and really reflects the, the type of tumor that you have. Uh, and the fact that in this uh, randomized uh, phase two trial, you're seeing such a major benefit uh, from the new antigen vaccine is, is pretty amazing and, and probably could be used in multiple cancer types, could be used in early stage melanoma, could be used in later stage melanoma, could be used in lung cancer, colon cancer, you know, many, many bladder cancer, various other cancer types. And so if this whole principle of neoantigen cancer immunotherapy works using mRNA vaccines, uh, you know, the, the, this really opens up a lot of areas of cancer uh, treatment to other people. So that was the, the to me, was the number one advance. The, the second one was the use of neoadjuvant therapy. And again, it's, there's been a couple of trials over the last few years showing neoadjuvant therapy may be better than adjuvant therapy. And so this was the Nadina trial, and this was the first randomized phase three trial and was a plenary presentation at ASCO by Dr. Christian Blanc, you know, showing that two cycles of epinevo uh, superior to uh, 18 cycles of just nevo alone post-surgically. So again, like a huge advance for patients. Uh, and I, I think we are looking forward to seeing some survival data from this trial, which wasn't presented and may maybe wasn't mature enough and looking to see some more adverse event data, but, but really opens up neoadjuvant therapy in melanoma.